Howdy, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with iDownload Blog. I want to talk about Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 1, which is the latest and greatest massively updated version of Red Snow. Um, what you're going to notice right off the bat, at least I notice, is that you don't actually have to specify firmware files anymore. Notice this iPhone software update folder is empty. Uh, I want to run Red Snow, and it's not going to actually ask me to locate a specific firmware file. And I don't even have the firmware files in the, you know, the default firmware location. So that, that's a pretty big change from previous iterations of Red Snow. The whole trying to manage your firmware thing is no longer in play. It's a thing of the past. It actually pulls in those IPSWs from Apple, the public IPSWs, and it caches those so you don't have to keep downloading them. And, you know, just it's a lot of work um, trying to get all those huge firmware files together so that you can jailbreak and do whatever you need to do with Red Snow. This one does it for you automatically. Now, just the normal jailbreak with Red Snow is super simple. Notice it doesn't actually ask you to browse for the file. You just hit next. It asks you to put the phone in the DFU mode. Actually, if you just go ahead and put the phone in the DFU mode like I'm doing here, you don't even have to click next. It automatically just kicks in and starts running. Previous versions of Red Snow did not do that. You actually had to click next. So this one is really intelligent. It really is working for you. Uh, you don't. You no longer have to specify files. It knows when you put your phone in the DFU mode. So it really makes the jailbreaking process a lot easier and a lot more intuitive. And we're going to watch this jailbreak in progress here. And you're going to notice something else different about the new version of Red Snow. Watch this. You see it actually knows what type of device you're using. It knows the ECID of the device. And it also identifies the proper firmware, um, as you can see there, the proper device type, the device name, the firmware it's running, etc. So you also notice these options at the bottom. These look familiar. You have install Cydia, install custom bundle, allow boot animation, enable multitask gestures, etc. So we'll just stick with install Cydia, click next, and let it do its thing. It'll jailbreak the device, and we should be good to go in a matter of minutes here. So right now is a great opportunity to touch on some of the new features, some of the most prominent features, the ability to use DFU mode to automatically determine which device and firmware you have. And you saw me saw me do that just a second ago. It also fetches pieces of public firmware from Apple one time and caches it. And non-public firmware, such as the beta firmware, you have to provide that manually. And I'll show you where you can do that here in a second. But that's not the only set of features that is included with the new version of Red Snow. You'll also notice some features from Tiny Umbrella have made their way into the new version of Red Snow, such as the ability to boot your device out of recovery mode and the, also the ability to manage your SHSH blobs. There are a bunch of different options to do that. You can uh, fetch blobs, you can verify, you can submit them, you can query them, you can stitch them. Um, there's a lot of different options regarding your SHSH blobs. So some of the functionality from Tiny Umbrella has been made redundant with this new version of Red Snow. Now, the jailbreak did complete there. And here's some of the options that I was talking about um, that you can find. You'll find it under the extra setting here in Red Snow. Uh, the jailbreak setting is just a jailbreak. The extra setting is for everything else. So let's check out some of those extra features here. The first option you'll find is Just Boot, which allows you to perform a tether boot. Say, for instance, you jailbroke a uh, iOS 5 beta firmware. Of course, that is tethered still, so you can tether boot that. You have Own DFU mode. Then you have Recovery Fix, which is a feature from Tiny Umbrella, like I was stating earlier. It allows you to kick yourself out of uh, recovery mode. Now, turn your attention to the iPhone here. As I finish the jailbreak, you can just see the jailbreak is done and it's ready to go. So let's just unlock our device here and I'm going to check out and make sure Cydia is there just to show you that Red Snow does indeed work with a 0.9.9 beta 1 and there it is ready to go and of course I don't have my Wi-Fi set up or anything like that yet so we'll handle that later but let's focus our attention back on to the options for Red Snow of course you have the SHSH blobs which is very awesome the first option fetch, fetches current partial blobs on the device, submits them to Cydia and to your computer. Uh, verify, basically it verifies existing blobs from either Red Snow, Tiny Umbrella. Submit, submits one or more blob files to Cydia. Query, query Cydia for full or partial blobs. Stitch, stitches together full or partial blobs to a stock or custom IPSW firmware file. Now you have this option here for select IPSW. And as I alluded to earlier, if you're using a beta firmware, you're trying to jailbreak that beta firmware, you're gonna to have to specify that firmware file. And this is like the old Red Snow where you actually choose your firmware file. And last but not least are your preferences where you can list your ECID, set your boot arguments, or set your boot logo. 
So that is Red Snow 0.9.9 .9 Beta 1 in a nutshell. I know that was a lot to take in and digest in one setting, but this is an absolutely awesome step in the right direction for the dev team. I highly recommend that you just check it out and experiment with it, if anything else. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, folks. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.